Colin McRae once said, if everything seems under control, you are not going fast enough. Yes, but uh, actually no. I want to ask you a question. Sometimes, why do pro drivers look slow while driving their car? In this video I show you how to control your car in racing games, but it should be useful for real life as well, since the physics reactions are quite similar between reality and video games. And uh, what to do if your car starts spinning? As you know, front-wheel drive cars suffer from understeer. That means the front tires lose grip first. So, when you accelerate and turn the steering wheel, the car tends to go straight anyway, because the front wheels struggle to do two things at the same time. So, to avoid the understeer, you have just to modulate the throttle and the car will keep the racing line you want. But in few cases, while braking or coasting, the front wheel drive car could lose the rear. In this case, we talk about oversteer on uh, deceleration. What can you do in this case? The answer is easier than you think. Just press the throttle. Don't contest it, just go flat out. If you fully press the throttle, as we said before, the front wheels will lose grip and the car will pass from oversteer to understeer. Things get more complicated and more fun with the rear wheel drive cars. What do you have to do when the rear starts spinning while cornering? Two things. Contest steering, not too much, and modulate the throttle. Never ever release the throttle while spinning, because this will make things even worse. Again, the stability, you have to keep the throttle between 20 and 40%, depending on the car power. In that way, the car will gradually regain the grip on the rear wheels. About the contest steering, as I told you before, don't contest steer too much, otherwise this will happen. You have to use the correct angle. It's a thing I told you a lot of times and it's the answer to the question Why do pro drivers look slow while driving their car? Well, you have to turn the steering wheel slowly, gently, calmly In that way the car will naturally follow the reaction you want
steer too fast, the car will lose the rear. It's very simple. It's basically the same argument of steering. If you accelerate at 100%, all of a sudden the wheels will spin. Cut detected. But if you accelerate gradually, you allow the wheels to keep the grip and move your car safely. Keep in mind, while coronary things get a bit more complicated because on one wheel drive will have more grip than the other one because of uh, the weight transfer. For that reason, you have to press the throttle way more gently to avoid the oversteer and regulate the understeer to exit faster as possible from the corner. A brake bias set with more power on the front will keep the car more stable, especially when braking while cornering. But in this case, be careful to the understeer. As I told you before, the front wheels struggle to do two things at the same time. In this case, braking and cornering. So, the three things you can do in this case are Braking earlier Set the brake PS less on the front Apply the trial braking Trial braking consists just in modulating the braking while braking and cornering Especially to avoid the understeer Another thing I told you already in another video, ask yourself this question, is it better to go every time at 100% of a race pace and get a higher risk of mistake which could you lose a lot of precious seconds, or is it better to give yourself a little margin, like uh, driving at 95% of your race pace to have less probability of mistake? It's 
better to use 100% of your skills only during qualifications and if really necessary only a few parts of the race because you have to give all your best just for one lap the skills of a driver by his speed nope by his knowledge yes but uh, actually nope it's the driving precision that's the true skill of a driver the precision to measure your sensitiveness with the throttle brake and steering wheel the precision to calculate the distance for the braking the precision to follow the ideal racing line like staying close to the track borders and hit the apex on corners. Of course, here in this video I'm just teaching you the theory. And you will tell me, easier said than done. At this point you would ask me, how can I increase the, my position? How can I increase my skills in lower time? For that, I suggest you the hard way. For example, as you know, since uh, 2017 I give private lessons uh, to people who ask me for help and when I see people who struggle to keep their cars uh, on track contrary to a popular belief I don't allow them to use uh, driving assists I make their car even harder to drive with a setup which makes uh, the car unstable You ask me, why? Because if these people get used to a terrible grip with an uh, unstable car, they'll manage to build a sensitivity that they need uh, to control a normal car in normal racing conditions. For example, let's take this Ferrari. Let's put uh, harder tires compound on the rear and softer on the front, more oversteer. Let's set the front anti-roll bar to soft and the rear too hard, even more oversteer. Let's increase the power and decrease the weight. Hard to drive and more sensitive to direction changes. And the result is, this car is almost undrivable for an average driver. A minimal mistake on braking, acceleration and steering wheel could be fatal. This exercise helped the person to understand he must be gentle with all these three elements. He understand he must exploit the wall track space to follow the ideal racing line. He understands he must moderate the speed on the entry. In fact, most of people tend to enter the corner too fast. Of course, 
you need patience, but trust me, this exercise improve a lot the skills in few time. Then, when you have learned to master this art car to drive, let's take a 500 HP normal car, even without driving assist, and magically it will be easier to drive and to control, because your brain is the user to, to the shitty grip of the previous car. Well, I hope uh, you liked this video and uh, it will be useful uh, in the future to control better your car and keep it on the track. See you in the next video!